Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. I can't look at you. I sh- listen. I never talked to you like that. I never treated you like that. Something. I never called you. Let me t- can I'm, you don't understand why I feel this way. Why? Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the new episode of The Real Housewives of New York. That's episode 11 of season 14. This was a supersized episode, so let's get started. We pick up with Uba and Aaron, who had just had this fight. Aaron is playing the victim, but the group decides to leave and continue with their activities. They get into these little cars. In one car, it's Uba, Jessel, and Brynn, and in the other, it's Jenna, Sai, and Aaron. I thought it was hilarious that Jenna goes up to Uba on behalf of Aaron and says, can you please give her back her sunglasses? And Uba says, absolutely not. I'm going to put a timer for 45 minutes. That was hilarious. And again, Uba in her confessional explains, you know, I have this thing where I check up with my family first thing in the morning and last thing at night. So that's why I need my phone. But in the car, Bryn is sort of reprimanding Uba and says, you shouldn't have screamed at her. You always go low. It's almost as if Erin is like off limits or something. And she's not. So I'm glad that Uba, even she even put Bryn in her place as well, you know, in a way, because she's annoying too. So it's raining as they're driving and then they arrive at a nice bar that's on the beach. They're having some fun trying some of the new drinks that they have and Sai even goes behind the bar to make some drinks since she was a bartender in an old job that she used to have. So that's pretty cool. Then as they're sitting down, an alarm goes off and it was Uba's phone. So she gives back the sunglasses to Aaron. Aaron gets them, she puts them on and says, Instead of screaming at me, talk to me like I'm a normal friend. And Uba says, I'm not your ch- I'm not your kid. Don't tell me what to do. So Aaron says, Well, I'm not your child. So you don't take my glasses my glasses off of me. Brain jumps in and says, Stop, you guys, y'all are friends. And Uba says to Brain, girl, stop, because she literally called you a social climber. Y'all fight all the time and then want to act all fake like if nothing happened. So Bryn is a little taken aback hearing that and she's a little bit bothered by just hearing that Aaron called her a social climber. And Aaron gets up and leaves and Jenna goes after her and they go sit somewhere else um, away from the group. But the sad thing is that the other girls like sign them they're getting at Uba as if she was like so wrong and as if Aaron did nothing wrong. Jenna, I'm also confused why she was so up on Aaron because she was literally the one who told everyone about her being on first class. I was like, damn, I wish I was there to be on Uba's side. And let's not even talk about the microaggressions because that's a whole different conversation. But before leaving, they do some limbo. Jenna and Aaron are just watching from afar and Aaron is pissed that no one else is going with her. So they leave the bar and go to another place to eat. Once they sit down, Jessel makes a very good question to Jenna. Why are you being so Team Aaron when she talks so much ish about you coming to the trip early and she was being so rude about my uncle? Sai says, guys, it's the last day. Let's have some fun. And they say, okay. But Uba says, I'm not taking anything back. Sai goes to the bathroom, but Uba keeps saying little things and Aaron, um she is holier than thou says i can't do this i'm leaving so she gets up and leaves back at the table they're still talking about the situation and the girls are still defending aaron and i'm so over it but they do stop talking about it they order some food but there's a sort of an awkward silence and then somehow Bryn starts talking about her being pre-med and she worked at a corporation and she's an expert with her clients i don't know what she does and i don't know half if half the stories that she tells are even the truth or if they're made up but what was real was when she was talking about her grandmother who raised her and she starts to cry so that was really sad but speaking of crying aaron is back at the villa calling her dad and telling him all about what happened and how hurt she is by what uba did and doesn't know what to do too much crying on this show But back at the table with the other ladies, 
I did like that they were talking about parenting and how they don't want to spoil their kids too much. I liked listening to Jenna talk about her son and how it felt when she started to become known, you know, to the public. And Uba does apologize to the group for what she has done so far. Okay, so then they get back into the little cars to head back. And y'all, this is why I say Bryn is a little potster and she's a flip-flopper. In the car, out of nowhere, she says to Jessel, well, you know, Jessel, Aaron has been trying to make you the villain and she called you a trust fund baby and she's been saying all these things about you and Jessel completely loses it and she gets activated and I love I like seeing her activated though. She was like, I am tired of this B. I have a list of all the dumbass things that she said to me and she's going to listen to me, which she had a list on her phone of like the things that have been bothering her, which that's awesome because I would probably do that. And after they come back, Uba and Aaron decide to have a sit down. Aaron says, I love you, but you treated me so bad. You threw me in the pool, so I wanted to get you back. And Uba says, well, I um, threw you in the pool. I thought it was a funny thing. And by the way, y'all had already gotten me back. Y'all threw me in the pool. But Aaron says, that was Sai. That wasn't me. So technically, you didn't get your payback. Like, what is this level of maturity? Talk about who, who <laughs> who's getting payback. So it escalates and they start to call each other liars and you're this, you're that. Uba then tries to prove a point by showing her something on her phone, but then Uba can't find her phone. She lost it again. So she's looking for it and Aaron gets frustrated and she leaves. The phone was actually outside in the car, which Uba, I love you, but at the same time, you need to take care of your phone if you're going to be defending it so much. And then the, gr the girls get in the pool. And Bryn says to Uba, well, it's one thing to be accused of throwing someone in the pool. Imagine how I felt being called a slut and a cheater. And Aaron says, I never called you that. And at this point, Bryn is just being extra because this had nothing to do with her to be bringing up that situation again. Absolutely nothing. Aaron apologizes once again for what happened in that situation and says to Bryn, why are you doing this? Is it because she's gassing you up and she's pointing at Uba? And Bryn says, no, but it bothered me that you called me a social climber, which she is. Let's keep it real. Um, Bryn is a social climber. But Uba says, well, she would call you something like that. And Aaron screams, shut up at Uba. And Uba says, you do not talk to me like that. And she gets up and starts pointing at her. And Aaron says, you are such a B-I-T-C-H. And Uba says, no, you are. And that's why everybody has a problem with you. You're a liar. Guys, meanwhile, Jenna was somewhere inside the house handling her own business. Um, but then, oh my gosh, Aaron says, you are abusing me. And she starts to cry and she says, you're getting everyone against me. Why are you doing this to me? Ugh, this was ridiculous. So I guess Uba felt bad. So they go and have yet another conversation. Ugh, I was getting ready to turn this screen off at this point. Aaron is still playing the victim, but Uba is apologizing and taking back everything she said. At least they seem to make up, and then after that, they're all on top of each other, and they're hugging, so it's fine. And they go back in the house. But one thing that I kind of found disgusting, really, is that Bryn took a shower. She was just wrapped in a towel, literally nothing underneath, goes over to Jenna's room and says, Hey, honey, I'm here. I'm wet for you. And she... Keep in mind, she's soaking, gets on top of the bed, and ugh, so annoying, and ugh, okay. So everybody gets dressed and goes over for dinner. The first ones in the table are Jenna, Sai, and Aaron, and you all know who they're talking about? Jessel. In a very mean way, Sai tells Aaron, oh my god, did you know that Jessel writes little notes about how she feels about us? Aaron and Sai just transmit such mean energy. It's not even funny. Bryn also got there and said, Oh, I always forget about Jessel. She's so forgettable. So the same Sai who was telling everybody to get along because it was their last night is also the one that's gossiping behind someone's back. Oh, okay. Anyway, the trip ends with them taking, um, talking about fashions and then they take a picture and that's that for the trip. One of the housewife trips I've seen in my entire life. I don't know if it's because I'm not invested in the in these people. That's maybe that's why the drama literally means nothing to me. I really, I mean, it, after like five minutes of it, it literally I'm over it. And I don't know if it's because 
I don't really connect with the, I don't know what it is, but that was it for this trip to Anguilla from the New York City Housewives. Next week, they'll be back in New York, and it looks like there will be something between Sai and Jessel, which I really don't like Sai. But anyway, you guys, what were your opinions and thoughts about this Aaron and Uba situation? What did you think about this trip? Let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time. You have a great one. Bye.